okay so what I'm going to do here is just show you how to make the quick blur transitions that I use in my videos all the time because they're not really transitions the more of uh, effects more than anything really so we're just going to drop in an episode any episode will do but some of <laughs> Explode sage mode, why not? Right, just ignore that. Mine does that all the time because mine's a very stupid computer. Right, so then what we do is we just drop this down onto there, delete that audio track, and we want to find a good, decent song so then you can see how it works better. If that makes sense. Two weeks. That's not a bad song. <clears throat> uh, and what we're going to do is. Just bear with me a sec. Right, that's a little loud, that one. So I'll just turn that right down. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, da -da. getting a bit lost here. It's been ages since I've done out properly. Just let me just drag my slides along. Because what you want to do is find the scene that you want to change. So say we've got this one of the li destroyed leaf village at the beginning here. Uh, you've got this one. Uh, you want to drag it into until you've got enough on it. Vegas is lagging a bit because obviously the screen recording, but and then what you need to do here is find your beats. Like there's obviously a beat that drops in there. So what we'll do is we'll have this coming in on the shallow part. So we've got Then as the beat kicks in there, what we'll do is find the next. Yeah, we'll have this one of Sunadi's face looking all pissed off as she does. Well, you would if your village just got destroyed, wouldn't you? So, and then all that you do here is is you make sure you've got it pretty much dead on for where it changes to the beat. There, you can see where obviously it picks up there. Right, and then what you want to do is go about four frames in so you just on your keyboard you clicked on your video track and press one two three four to the right and then press s to split your video that's the best way to do it just press s and then go into video effects scroll all the way down to linear blur and have horizontal medium and then here you want that set to two five zero so it's 250. Then all that you do here is get your keyframe slider, drag all the way to the end for the four keyframes, and then drag that down to the amount of zero. So then that animates it for you. So you get this effect as it goes in. It blurs and then it blurs back to normal. I'm not too sure how well this will work with the uh, screen recorder, but give it a try. Yeah, it worked okay-ish, but then there's another version that we can use, which you want to do is insert video, another video track, and just remove the uh, effect, the previous effect we had, and then you drag that up to there. No, you don't. You split that, and then. What you do is you drag that back down. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a spaz day today. Right, and then you want them um, about three out for this. So we'll delete that and then drag that all the way to there. And as you'll see, that's coming in on the beat there, but it's three keyframes before. The split's three keyframes before. One, two, three. Right, and then what you do here is go into Event Pan Crop, which is the little window thing on your video clip. Right, and have it so you can only move side to side, moving X only. Right, and then you drag your keyframe to the end on your top clip. 
and slide that out to there just on the edge there so it's out and then on your bottom clip what you do is you slide that out to that to the opposite edge to where you've moved the previous clip then you drag this all the way to the end and then just just right click and put restore to center then what you do is you get this effect of the sliding in over it then if you want it to look a bit cleaner well not cleaner but a bit more flashy just add horizontal medium blur and it gives you this kind of effect if it works I don't know I don't know if I'll have to try and play it a bit further back but I'll tell you what we'll do we'll render we'll render that few seconds there We'll just render that little bit and then I'll stick it on end up video and then you can see how it works. Uh, yeah, just put it as entitled. I'm just gonna render it as WMV, better quality. No, I'll render it as RV, why not? Fuck it, it's quicker. And then, you know. Tut. Quick name for it, only a few seconds to render. And hopefully you'll be able to see this okay here. I think you can basically get the get the gist of it and I hope that helped right cheers